then God began to show me. But so you thought but those experiences were just experiences. They're not experiences. I was teaching you something that you must do. If you were not comfortable at a certain place for a certain day, don't repeat it in the ministry. And this is the condition that you want us to create here, whereby we translate Shona to English. And I was there where people were speaking Ghanaian, translating it to English. I was uncomfortable. This is the same feeling that people who don't know anything about Shona feels when they come a ministry. So here we are not following what we love, we are following the vision. I saw myself inside the church again. What's happening? Because I didn't know that this, this passage can also lead you back to the church. I'm sure even the people who saw me coming out there, they showed what, the, what is the apostle doing. I'm a spiritual man. I'll be doing my spiritual stuff, communicating with my God, understanding things in the spirit. So God showed me everything. I said, then I was trying to show you how other few people feel when they are in a church whereby a language we they don't know is being spoken. If you want us to translate Shona to English, then my question is, what about somebody we hear Tswana only? How many languages do we have to translate from them to English? So we shall deal with English only. Amen. So those who want to testify, if you want to speak in Shona, you call out for a translator so that we can accommodate everybody. We really wish to see in Shona. We really wish to hear a proper Shona service. That's our language. But we have no choice. We are following the vision. You, th you think Pastor Chris doesn't know how to speak Yoruba? He knows. He knows. Have you ever heard him speak or, 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 or sing in that? No, no. Calling change you into what you are not. Yeah. He speaks English only. He is in Nigeria or he is out of Nigeria because he was made an international preacher. There are preacher, preachers in Nigeria, Nigeria who are gathering millions of people, listening to them, speaking in their native, their native languages. They were made for that. But the difference is the apostles for everybody. When I was called by God, I remember this day, I drank Alomo bitters. You know, we, oh, how many people know Alomo? You know it, right? Nah, that was my, my kind of stuff. Alomo dragon. Bah! Alomo, you drink it now. By the time you get by the gate, you are already drunk. Am I like? No. Maybe Alomo just once you are drinking, already you are in another world. Forty. Sixty. Sixty percent. Sixty percent alcohol. Where, where by other other the door of the some of you don't know about the these, these lovers you see, they are only 4%. If it's too much, 6%. Then Alomo is 60. So imagine. So it will be a subject like this. You take it into the energy drink. You eat it. The time you go by the door, you're already high. You are seeing everybody like a balloon. <laughs> I got drunk, but still managed to hear God for the first time after 12 years. God said, don't go, Sean, don't go. I said, I don't worry. This is beer. How can you hear God while it's drunk? You must learn to hear God. When you do this, when you develop yourself spiritually, you can hear him speak. He deposit things like in your mind, like it's just depositing. But when you grow spiritually, you'll be able to separate between things which are coming into your mind and the things that he is depositing. So when I was driving like this, I heard him speaking to Sean, don't go. Even when I was washing the car, he said, Sean, don't go. Because there in job there were two ladies waiting for 
from Chita. So it was about time. Was it the first thing which happened? My dreadlocks they began to fall. You are trying to fix them. Okay, let me try to fix. You hold it on your hands. It's gone. Then I knew it. It's not the voice. It's calling. So when the voice was coming, I was a, a, a half, a half bit of shock with the eyes speaking. Then I took my alcohol, did everything. What, 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 what? Then I drove to Jobbik. I for the first time in my life to have an accident, and an accident in front of Metropolis. You don't have anything. Big. You don't have the license. You don't have the hair. What, what? And the beer is all over. You have manjapis <laughs> himo. Okay, let me skip this one. <laughs> now, I, I, I want to talk about something. Now, <laughs> listen to me. I want to talk about something that I want you to listen to me, right? I want to speak maybe in 30 to 1 hour. But uh, it, will, it will help you, right? The verse that I made you to read there. Uh, I spoke at the at the whole night that uh, some things which you think are hard they are not hard they are just responding to who you are hmm? plenty this is, this is life and you need to learn it Mashuro, are you listening to me? Yes. <laughs> some other things which you, are, which you think are hard when some people who we have given up on life to an extent that they wish to die, then there are some people coming for prayers for a long life. Same way. So what is the difference here? Is it the country or the people? The people. The people. There is somebody who said, ah, as for me, Mujolo is a pandemic. I no longer want to hear about love. There is somebody we have a relationship is asking for prayers for love. May you please pray for my relationship. So the problem is it about relationships or is about individuals? Individuals. So plenty of things that you are thinking are not good in the world. They are good in the world, but bad for you personally. I told you, the moment you are saying, hey, there are no more babies in guys, we are there. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get, don't, get, don't get it wrong. I want to teach you life. As you find the food, as I am, what is needed in me? Come on, that guy. The guy that's the guy. Then you discover what you change your mindset about it. There is true love. Because you have met one man who loves and who loves you as well. So now, if you say things are hard in South Africa, there are no jobs in South Africa, there is no money in South Africa, there is no this in South Africa, don't forget that there are some people who are confessing something different from you. The jobs that you are spending plenty of years in South Africa looking for, there are some people who are finding plenty and saying, no, I don't want this one, I don't want this one, I don't want this one. I remember the Antitanak, I remember Stanak. At some point, we, it was our prayer request every day. Which we, we need you to work. You, 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 you. Are, you, are you looking for a job? Are you looking for a job? Father, I'm looking for a job. Father, I'm looking for a job. There wasn't any opportunity. Because we, we were dealing with the delivery case. So the problem was not that there are no jobs in South Africa. There were no jobs for him. Jobs were being closed. Four? Yeah. Then we prayed, we got the old house and we moved to, to better levels. I remember one of the days she was asking me, which one should I choose? Because I made this one, but there's another one. I said, no, remain on this one. Then another one came, I said, oh, gee, oh you see, the same person who was saying there are no jobs is now telling me, I have this one, can I go for this one? There are plenty of choices. So, it's not that there are no jobs, there are no Yes. I want you to listen.
listen to me. Do you know that sometimes your husband is a very good man? He doesn't want to beat. But he, he becomes a, a beating person because of you. If he was, if he didn't love you, why did he follow you at first? And why did he change later? Ingredients which were which were made with are causing you to be beaten. That is why when you see when you 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 dream sleeping with somebody, that is when things go wrong. Yeah, because when you are making deposits. <laughs> even the food that you eat at, uh, in the dreams, you don't even notice it. They come to you at parties, they give you food, you eat. In the morning, it's trouble. Now, everything around you is, is responding to what you eat. Because you can never sleep with a demon and be okay. If you spend time with God, when you go to the people like Moses, he spent 40 days. The people, people were seeing the glory. Yes. Amen. So when you spend the time with the demons, romancing, touching each other, doing whatever, in the morning, my God, my God. <laughs> you need to stop sleeping with people in the dreams. You need to stop eating in the dreams. Now, I want you to look at this situation. We have Abraham. Abraham was called by God and told that come from the land of your, 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 your parents, I always tell you this, and you go to the land that I will show you. When you go there, I will bless you. I will make you the father of nations. Then God is promising something with Abraham will be a greater nation. Then Abraham's wife is barren. So your current situation doesn't determine what is coming in the future. Because you may be low today, but if we say you shall be high, you shall be high no matter what the devil says. God says, Abraham went to the edge of becoming old without having seen, having, having to see any promise of God being fulfilled. You shall be the father of all nations. Plenty. But you don't have any one child. Then look at what is happening now. The wife is old. Abraham is old. Then the wife says to Abraham, Baba Abu, I'm old. I want you to, to try this. My house girl, my maid, my helper, and sleep with her. When you sleep with her, at least she will give you a child. I want to thank the God of Abraham, how faithful he was. The wife was barren, and he never tried someone else like what you guys do. Abraham was faithful. The wife was the one who was barren with had the problem. She, you know, he never had any, any, any problem with it. He lived and never tested to, to see if the bombs can, can burst out there. But Sarah is the one who came with the idea. said, no, 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 I'm just starving this man. He needs a kid. And he's old. Then Sarah gave Abraham the girlfriend. Ah, the, 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 the maid. Sa Abraham slept with the maid. Then Abel. It came. I want you to teach you something here. Never make a mistake of making desperate decisions. Desperate decisions tomorrow they give you trouble. Because in the, in the near future what happened is this maid servant began to, you know, Sarah Sara because I'm, I'm a mother and you are not, you are just a gogo but you don't have a child. This is happening because Sarah, this is what you decided. God said you shall be a mother of nations. So why are you worried? Don't try to help God when you are in situations. This is what you are doing, most of you. When things don't seem to, to, to go well in church, no make up nana. Some of you you may not but even the comments from apostles and some other things which are unnecessary. We ask you, what is this? You will be shocked. You want to 
try to help God. When you are a Christian, you don't help God. God can do his things on his own. Amen. Now, it's actually pay from to tell on what? I don't want to make a desperate decision. I want to make a decision. I want to promise that to somebody. You are in love. You get disappointed. Right? Hey, 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 hey. Tim, come on, come on, come on. Right, listen to me. You are in a relationship, right? You are disappointed. Most of you, the problem that you are making in your life, you try to heal yourself by looking for another boyfriend so that you can forget this one. Trust me, that is so dangerous. You can never heal. Because the moment you see this one, he will remind about that one. Because his purpose, you took him not because you like him. What happened to take one of the post Healing you are you are bitter. Yes. Some of you right now you are in relationships, but each time you are looking at your boyfriend or your girlfriend, he is not reminding you about anything. Ah, sometimes it doesn't go. In my ex was better. Everything about him, you are comparing it to that one. You need to heal. 